Welcome back to Automotive Territory Daily News. We have already passed the hump of this model here, so whatever new car model comes out next will be considered MY 2022. Today we'll tackle the topic of upcoming sports cars, featuring models from various subclasses and price ranges. As usual, we remind you to subscribe to the channel and wish you to enjoy the lineup with all the relevant information and pricing. We start the engines now! BMW 2 Series Coupe The second generation 2 Series already exists as a four-door fastback, but for 2022 it is being released as the original two-door coupe. To the delight of the fans, the model does not take the same design route as the new 4 Series, but it does acquire better proportions, growing in length by 4.3 inches and setting one inch closer to the ground. The BMW Kidney Grille is redesigned with vertically arranged air flaps instead of the regular bars. There are thin LED headlights, plus the tail lamps have all new 3D signature. For now, the 2 Series will be offered in three modifications. The 220i with 2-liter 4-cylinder gasoline, the all-wheel drive M240i with a 3-liter inline 6, and the diesel-powered 220d featuring mild hybrid tech. The fastest coupe promises 4.3 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration and 155 mph top speed. Lotus Emira The last internal combustion Lotus is preparing to take the market by storm with the EVI inspired styling, a Voris bonded aluminum chassis, and yet unseen price tag under £60,000. Positioned as the brand's sole global sports car, the Amira gives out an exotic vibe, featuring a muscular rear end, large 20-inch wheels, unique exit air vents, and LED headlights with wind-shaped design. Lotus plans to offer two engines for the model, the familiar 3.5-liter supercharged V6 with 400 horses, and the newly developed 2-liter turbo inline 4 by Mercedes-AMG. Both will give customers access to manual, automatic and DCT gearboxes. The cabin of the Emira takes a huge step up. It gets more premium finishes and materials, electrically adjustable seats, unique flat-bottom steering wheel and an all-digital dashboard with 12.3 and 10.25-inch screens. Dallara EXP Four years ago, the Italian race car manufacturer first entered the road car market with the brilliant Stradale. Back in the day, it was compelled to compromise in order to get a license plate. But now, the company is ready with its track-focused version that forgets about all the previous limitations. The EXP inherits the Stradale's carbon fiber monocoque, but every inch of its bodywork has been modified to boost the downforce to the unseen limits. There is a new front end with an enormous splitter, a custom rear diffuser, and a truly gigantic wing. The latter was quite heavy for Delara, so the engineers ditched the roof and windscreen. Behind the front seats there is a 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, with the output increased to 492 horsepower. All these treatments resulted in 2,755 pounds of downforce at the car's top speed of 178 mph. By the end of this video, that grey thumbs up button must turn blue. So give it a proper tap to let us know whether you like this video topic. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep rolling! Unleashed by E-Type UK If you're interested in turning your 1970s Series 3 E-Type into a more exclusive and modern version of itself, welcome to this UK-based custom shop. Their process starts with the upgrading of the chassis with fully adjustable shocks and new torsion bars. Plus, they fit modern four-piston brake calipers with vented discs. The 5.3-liter V12 engine gets its capacity increased to 6.1 liters, and it now features bespoke fuel injection. Thanks to these modifications, the mill makes 400 instead of 272 horses. It is also assisted by the new 5-speed manual gearbox. Next step focuses on the strengthening of the E-Type's body, installing new wraparound one-piece bumpers and fitting larger wheels that still boast original wire-spoke design. The car boasts new LED headlights, while its cabin gets an all-custom interior with handcrafted leather and contemporary amenities.
4911 Carrara GTS and 4 GTS. The new 922 generation of 911 yields yet another batch of models that will crown the Carrara line. Among the newcomers are the rear-wheel drive coupe and convertible GTS units, while the all-wheel drive 4 GTS models also include a Targa. This driver-oriented sports car is powered by a 3-liter flat-six engine with twin turbos with available 7-speed manual or 8-speed dual-clutch PDK. Through keeping 480 horses in its stables, torquing 420 pound-feet and equipping the Sport Chrono package, these Porsches can reach 193 miles per hour top speed and complete 0 to 60 runs as fast as 3.1 seconds. To compensate for the added power, the suspension was derived from the upper market turbo models. It gets standard Porsche active suspension management as well as massive brakes with iron rotors. NASCAR Mustang Next Generation Along with Toyota Camry TRD and Chevy Camaro ZL1, the world's best-selling sports car is entering a new era of the so-called NASCAR Next Generation racing. The newcomer was under development for two years and has only visual resemblance to the predecessor. It incorporates the same architecture seen in the Ford's production cars, but features a flexible design to accommodate future technological advancements like hybrid or electric powertrains. For performance, changes rack and pinion steering, implements independent rear suspension and 18-inch forged aluminum wheels. The all-new body has a white stance, but symmetric exterior shell, tail and smaller greenhouse area create a strong resemblance to the production Mustang. This racer is powered by a 5.86-liter FR9 8-cylinder mill that was purpose-built by Roush Yates engines. As the NASCAR rules dictate, it has 12 to 1 compression and makes from 550 to 670 horsepower that are controlled via a 5-speed sequential gearbox. VW Polo GTI The sixth generation of the VW Polo returns for the 2021 model here in its most exciting guise. With a GTI badge, the hot hatch beats its class rivals in terms of power, since the revised 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbocharged unit now produces 207 ponies. 236 pound-feet of torque delivered at rather low RPM helped the Palo GTI to do 0 to 60 sprint in a respectable 6.5 seconds. Exterior-wise, the model mimics the new Golf, with the familiar IQ Light Matrix headlights underlined by a thin LED bar that stretches across the grille. At all four corners, you will have either standard 17-inch or optional 18-inch rims. The GTI also gets a bigger 10.25-inch driver's display, a performance-oriented chassis, and Volkswagen travel assist management. Wells Vertage After a failed attempt to find a sports car that would fit his personal preferences, in 2014, the British entrepreneur Robin Wells began secret development of the retro-inspired mid-engine coupe with an affordable price tag. The Vertage rides on a stiff steel monocoque chassis with tubular steel frames and double wishbone suspension front and rear. The two-seater is just 13 feet long and size-wise can be compared to a Mazda Miata. At its heart lies a Ford-sourced 2-liter four-cylinder engine with 208 horsepower and it is controlled through a six-speed manual gearbox. Weighing just 1,900 pounds, the Wells Vertage sprints to 60 in 5 seconds and will do 140 miles per hour. The initial batch of the model will count only seven units that have already been sold to the friends and family. Unfortunately, though, afterwards the production numbers will not be significantly increased and shall be limited to 25 units per year. Alpine A110 This year brings two limited editions for the Alpine A110. The first one was designed by the Argentinian artist Felipe Pantone and gets an ultra-dynamic paintwork. Completely made by hand, the unique graphics package consists of various geometric shapes, pixel patterns and optical effects that resemble visual speed and a collision between the analog past and the digitized future. Only three copies will be made, each coming twice the regular price. The second edition is the reintroduced A110 Legend HGT. It comes with two exclusive color combinations, 18-inch diamond-cut Grand Prix alloy wheels 
and six-way adjustable seatbelt comfort seats. If you're interested, both are propelled by the model's powerful 282 horsepower 1.8 liter four cylinder. How do you like the reinforcements within the sports cars class? Let's discuss our favorite models in the comments below the video and smash the like button if you enjoyed the lineup. Next, consider checking out supercars of the 2022 model here and subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News to help us grow. We'll see you.